Hey guys, welcome to the Earth, Moon, and Sun. I'm excited to get started with science. So, here we go. Uh, please number your paragraphs as I read this. And I would highlight and circle the things that are starred and circled and all that stuff. So, here we go. Reflect. When you look up at the stars at night, do you think people have always understood our place in space? Did they understand the relationship between Earth, the Sun, and the Moon? Sometimes we take for granted what we have learned from modern technology. To ancient sky watchers, celestial objects seem to move across the sky as though we were or they were orbiting Earth. Telescopes were not had not yet been invented, so only six planets were known to them: Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. Stars just seem to be beyond the clouds. Geocentric model of the universe. The geocentric or Earth model of the universe persisted for centuries based on the false assumption by the early Greek philosopher Aristotle that Earth stood still and was the center of the universe. The geocentric model was further promoted by Ptolemy about A.D. 100 to 200. This was about 1,900 years ago, and he was a Greek philosopher who studied in Egypt. What that means is, is that the very, very smart people thought Earth was the middle of the universe, okay? Um, the word persisted means that that's what they all understood, okay? So, Ptolemy believed that Earth did not move and was at the center of the universe. He also thought other celestial or space bodies moved in perfect circles. To him, Stars were set in rotating in a rotating sphere that turned east to west once a day, and the planets, the moon and the sun, were in separate spheres that moved slower. He thought planets moved in circles called epicycles around the Earth. So here in this diagram here, this is what Ptolemy thought that Earth was here. Then you had the moon and the other planets way out here. You had the sun and the stars, and he thought everything rotated around the Earth. The heliocentric model of the universe. This was promoted by Nicholas Copernicus. The heliocentric model revolutionized scientific thinking in the 16th century and replaced the geocentric model. So, about 1,500 years later, that's a long time, um, they decided that no, Earth was not the center of the universe. It was now going to be the sun. So in this model here on the right, it says Earth plus the five other known planets, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn orbited the sun. Only the naked eye planets were part of this model. What that means is not the ones that you can see with a telescope. So by 1615, Further observations by Galileo Galilei, the Italian astronomer, astronomer who first used a telescope to study the heavens, proved that the sun was the center of the solar system. The solar system is different than the universe, and we'll be talking about that later. He saw moons orbiting Jupiter, not the sun. He also observed that Venus had phases that could happen only if the sun was the center of the solar system and planets, along with Earth, revolved around the sun.